Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl the Real True Divine Feminine here and I come with a quick little message for you guys and my message to you guys is somebody is in deep regret because this person did not test the spirit by the spirit. In the Bible in 1 John chapter 4 it tells us beloved brothers to test the spirit. Don't just go by what you see to test the spirit by the spirit and this person did not test you by your spirit this person looked at you and prejudged you this person thought because the way you dress the way you talk um the things that you did that you were not divinely protected nor divinely connected this person thought that they can come against you because they thought that you were not who you said you were your flesh looked it toe up from the flow up but they did not take a second chance to look at your spirit to see how your spirit was. Now this person who has did everything under the sun to you is in deep regret and wants to come in to apologize to you. But it's water under the bridge and it's water un over the bridge. There's no way for this person to return, return to you because God has separate tides. God has given you peace over that situation to let that situation go. You have wholeheartedly healed and moved on from that situation. Us as people, it's so easy for us to look at somebody and judge people on the way that they look, the way that they talk, or what they do not have. But we never put on our spiritual eyes to take a look at that person's soul. A lot of times, people that have it all put together, dressed from head to toe, driving the fanciest things ever, have the darkest soul. Some of the evilest, wickedest people, some of the people, they will judge you so bad and their soul is so black. And then you might see somebody that's begging for change, you might see somebody that's going through a hard time, might be driving a pinto with all the windows missing out of it. But that person has a blessed soul. A blessed spirit. That person is so blessed. And a lot of times people, they look at because somebody don't have stuff physically that they're not blessed. No. People fail to realize a lot of people just choose not to live with the fancy stuff in the physical. But spiritually they is very blessed. And as above, so is below. These people, they try their hardest. That when I tell you they hardest to humiliate you, to embarrass you, man, the stuff these people said, the stuff they did, man, when I tell you, y'all listen, when I tell you, y'all got some serious, serious defamation of character lawsuits, bro, some serious, serious, but guess what, I, guess what, what I'm hearing in my spirit, y'all just like me. Y'all not going to do all that. Y'all let God fight y'all battles. And that's a blessing. That is seriously and truly honest a blessing. That when you, that does not make you weak or none of that. When you allow God to fight battles, that's for you. Because sometimes us as people, we be putting ourselves in situations we shouldn't even be in. We be worried about putting our hands in things that is not telling us to put our hands in. And whoever you are, you letting God fight this situation. And when I tell you. God is turning them every which way but loose. He's telling them every which way but loose. These people out here were wild. When I say wild, all caps. For the things that they had said about you. The things that they tried to do to you. And, and, and that's a shame for people to be that black hearted, evil, cutthroat and conniving. To go against people because of how they look. Not even taking a chance to taste, test somebody's spirit. Putting their mouth on you. We're not even knowing. You're not even testing your spirit. Not even knowing that you could carry them in the spirit. Not even knowing that being connected to you was a blessing. These people betrayed you. They tried to use you. But I tell people this all the time. You could never you If somebody's blessing you, don't you ever feel like you're using them. I'm here to tell you, you ain't never losing nobody who blessing you. That person blessing you because they choose to bless you. You could never use a person that's a blesser, a giver. You could never, when I say never, you could never use a giver. A giver will give freely because they know God gives back to those who give. 
these people, this person, whoever this is, they came against you for all the wrong reasons. They came against you because they were so jealous. They came against you without even getting to know you. They are in so much regret right now before the things that they did. But that's why I tell y'all, cast all your cares upon God. I don't care what it is, man. Cast it upon him. Care, keep casting your stuff upon him. Don't keep trying to fight these battles. Don't be trying to put your hands in nothing. Surrender all this to God will in his way. Let him work out these problems. Let him fix the things. Let him lead and guide you to where he wants you to go and how he wants you to move. If God wants you to do some lawsuits, I promise you he going to give you the sign. If God wants you to sit still, I promise you he going to show you. If God wants you to move, he going to show you. Whatever it is that you are seeking, God, for I need you to stay woke, pay attention, and stay focused up on him. Because you know what? Folks be out here be doing people all types of ways. All types of ways for no reason. For no reason whatsoever because they don't like the person that they see. They can't sit with they self. And I'm noticing if you can sit with yourself and be at peace with yourself with no worries, people do not like that. They don't like that the spirit that you carry amongst you. Your spirit that is on you, baby, in a room full of darkness is shining. You heard me? The spirit that you carry on you, it makes people want to hear from their childhood, uh, their childhood traumas. It makes people want to confess to you. It makes people want to be next to you. It makes people want to want to uh draw more to you. It makes people just want to just be around you and folks don't like that folks don't like one thing two things for sure folks do not like when you are positive they don't like when you positive they don't like when you uplifting they want you to be down drained all the time into negativity but you don't low vibe and that's why they should have tested your spirit and they would have seen you with a low vibe. They would have seen how high you were, how high you were in the spiritual realm. They would have seen the goodness and the grace and the mercy you could have brought into their life. They would have seen what you could have brought into their organization. They would have seen what you could have brought into their church house. They could have seen what you could have brought into their job. They could have seen what you could have brought into your relationship. If they would have just tested the spirit, but instead they didn't, they prejudge you. Instead of getting to know the spirit, now they sitting in regret, wishing, hoping, and praying that they could just speak to you to come back and try to lie and manipulate when God didn't remove the scales from your eyes. Baby, God didn't remove the scales from your eyes to see these people, this person, exactly for who they are. The scales are from your ears. So guess what? As this person is going to try to manipulate you and lie to you the truth. The word, you're going to see their mouth moving, but you're going to be hearing the truth in your ear because that's how God has ordained and it set it up. Because these people did not listen. They did not test the spirit. All they had to do was test the spirit and seeing who they was coming against. But they choose not to do that because these people are unwoke. These people are jealous. These people are envious. These people are dark. These people do all kind of nasty things for money. These people were... These people will sacrifice their kids for money. Compromise their sexuality for money. These people will even compromise you for money. These people will sell you, set you up for money. When they should have tested your spirit, they did not test your spirit. They looked at your flesh, thought you were weak, thought you was a nobody instead of getting to know your spirit. So I tell you guys daily, always feed your spirit man. Stay rooted and grounded in the word. If you don't have, if you can't read your Bible, listen to it. Even if it's one scripture a day, the Lord is my shepherd. Listen to it for a week straight. Let it marinate and feed your spirit man. Because let me tell you something. Somebody is judging you. Somebody done judge you over how you look, how you talk, how you dress, all the rest of that. People, they look at people, and I tell people this all the time. Everybody's on different levels in their life. You might catch somebody, they'll talk fine in person, but if they make it a video or something, they'll start studying, they'll start doing all the rest of that. 
they'll start doing that. But it, one on one, face to face, they don't do any of that. And that's just how it is. Because God put some people on these platforms. God put somebody to be messenger and stuff because God know how this person is. He know that this person, that he he might feel like this person may be like like to be behind the scenes, but God is telling somebody to arise and take their rightful stand. See, this is when people fail to realize. You got to know everybody's spirit. When you test somebody's spirit, you're going to see the true character of them. I'm telling you, you can test the spirit. When you test somebody's spirit, you see their true character, their true integrity. And a lot of people's characters are tarnished because people like to put their mouth on them, not getting to know them. That's why it's good to get to know somebody, get to know your, their spirit for yourself. I don't know who that message is for, and I don't know who needs to hear that, but it's your girl, the real true divine feminine. I pray that message reach who it needs to reach, help who it needs to help. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a blessed night.